Hi everybody, Kent from Oz here. Look, everyone's going bananas about this birth date um, problem and, you know, if you watch the explanations on YouTube or other places, you'll it's they're actually more complicated than, than the actual problem. So what I thought is, let's just eliminate it all, let's get right to the chase, I'll explain how it's done in simple plain English and tell you ex how it's done. All right, so Cheryl has her birthday and month, and she's told Albert which month it is, and Bernard which day it is, but not any more information. So Albert makes a statement that he doesn't know when Cheryl's birthday is, uh, but he knows that Bernard doesn't know that either. Now, because of that, if you have a look at what they know in that statement, you basically are looking for some unique numbers. Now, all of the choices here have a pair, so there's 16 and 16, 15 and 15, 14, 14. So there's actually just uh, 19 and 18 are on their own. Now, and that's the case, then you can basically eliminate May and June, okay, because of that fact that uh, the individual numbers or unique numbers um, uh, are there. So Bernard then says, well, look, at first I didn't know what Cheryl's birth date was, but he knows now. Okay, so it has to be a unique number, and it has to be a number that uh, he knows. Uh, therefore, basically, the unique numbers in this choice here are 16, 15, and 17. So you can eliminate the 14th of August and the 14th of July. So now you've got three options left. And then Albert says, well, then, because of that, I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. And so there's two answers for August, and there's only one for July. So if Cheryl's birthday is in August, then Albert would still be left not knowing when it is. So really, after elimination, it has to be just the 16th of July. So what you have to do is look at the statements and work out backwards and forwards what is eliminated when every person says each sentence, and that's basically it. So the answer is July 16th, and um, you know, uh, as I said, I'm a little bit over this, and so hopefully that clears it up for you, and this is Kent from Oz saying, enjoy puzzles, but hey, well, move on. See you in another video.